Micah chapters 1 to 7. Chapter 1, Word of the Lord that came to Micah. 1. The word of the Lord that came to Micah the Morastite in the days of Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, which he saw concerning Samaria and Jerusalem. Judgment on Samaria. 2. Hear, all your people, hearken, O earth, and all that is in it, and let the Lord God be witness against you, the Lord from his holy temple. 3. 4. Behold, the Lord comes forth out of his place, and will come down, and tread upon the high places of the earth. 4. And the mountains shall be melted under him, and the valleys shall be split, as wax before the fire, and as the waters that are poured down a steep place. 5. For the transgression of Jacob is all this, and for the sins of the house of Israel. What is the transgression of Jacob? Is it not Samaria? And what are the high places of Judah? Are they not Jerusalem? 6. Therefore I will make Samaria like a heap in the field, and a place for planting of a vineyard, and I will pour down its stones into the valley, and I will uncover her foundations. 7. And all her graven images shall be beaten to pieces, and all her pay shall be burned with the fire, and all her idols will I lay desolate, for she gathered it from the pay of a harlot, and they shall return to the pay of a harlot. 8. Therefore I will lament and wail, I will go stripped and naked, I will make a wailing like the jackals, and mourning like the ostriches. Judgment on Judah 9. For her wound is incurable, for it has come unto Judah, it has come unto the gate of my people, even to Jerusalem. 10. Declare it not at God, weep not at all, in the house of Aphra roll yourself in the dust. 11. Pass on your way, you inhabitant of Safir, in naked shame, the inhabitant of Zanan came not forth at the morning of Bethesel, he shall take from you his standing place. 12. For the inhabitant of Maroth waited anxiously for good, but disaster came down from the Lord unto the gate of Jerusalem. 13. O you inhabitant of Lachish, harness the chariot to the swift steeds, it is the beginning of sin to the daughter of Zion, for the transgressions of Israel were found in you. 14. Therefore shall you give presents to Moreshethkit, the houses of Achzib shall be a deceit to the kings of Israel. 15. Yet will I bring an heir unto you, O inhabitant of Maresha, he shall come unto Adalim, the glory of Israel. 16. Make yourselves bald, and cut your hair because of your precious children, enlarge your baldness like an eagle, for they shall go into captivity from you. Chapter 2 Cause of the Judgment 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity, and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it, because it is in the power of their hand. 2. And they covet fields, and take them by violence, and houses, and take them away, so they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. 3. Therefore thus says the Lord, Behold, against this family do I devise a disaster, from which you shall not remove your necks, neither shall you walk haughtily, for this time is evil. 4. In that day shall one take up a parable against you, and lament with a doleful lamentation, and say, We are utterly ruined. He has changed the portion of my people, how he has removed it from me. Turning away he has divided our fields. 5. Therefore you shall have none that shall determine boundaries by lot in the congregation of the Lord. 6. Prophesy not, they say to them that prophesy, they shall not prophesy to them, that they shall not be shamed. 7. O you that are named the house of Jacob, is the spirit of the Lord restricted? Are these his doings? Do not my words do good to him that walks uprightly? 8. Even of late my people have risen up as an enemy. You pull off the robe with the garment from them that pass by trustingly, as men returning from war. 9. The women of my people have you cast out from their pleasant houses, from their children have you taken away my glory forever. 10. Arise, and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is defiled, it shall destroy you, even with utter destruction. 11. If a man walking in the spirit of falsehood does lie, saying, I will prophesy unto you of wine and of strong drink, he shall even be the prophet of this people. Promise of a future restoration. 12. I will surely assemble, O Jacob, all of you, I will surely gather the remnant of Israel, I will put them together as sheep in a fold, as the flock in the midst of their pasture, they shall make a loud noise because of the multitude of men. 13. He who breaks open has come up before them, they have broken out, and have passed through the gate, and have gone out by it, 
and their king shall pass before them, the Lord at their head. Chapter 3 Judgment on the Princes of Israel 1 And I said, Here, I pray you, O heads of Jacob, and you rulers of the house of Israel, is it not for you to know judgment? To who hate the good, and love the evil, who pluck off their skin from off them, and their flesh from off their bones, three who also eat the flesh of my people, and flay their skin from off them, and they break their bones, and chop them in pieces, as for the pot and his flesh within the cauldron. For then shall they cry unto the Lord, but he will not hear them, he will even hide his face from them at that time, as they have behaved themselves in an evil way in their deeds. Judgment on the Prophets 5 Thus says the Lord, concerning the prophets who make my people stray, who bite with their teeth, and cry, Peace, and he that puts nothing into their mouths, they even prepare war against him. 6 Therefore night shall be unto you, that you shall not have a vision, and it shall be dark unto you, that you shall not divine, and the sun shall go down upon the prophets, and the day shall be dark over them. 7 Then shall the seers be ashamed, and the diviners confounded, yea, they shall all cover their lips, for there is no answer from God. 8 But truly I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord, and of justice, and of might, to declare unto Jacob his transgression, and to Israel his sin. Promise of a Future Judgment 9 Hear this, I pray you, you heads of the house of Jacob, and rulers of the house of Israel, that abhor justice, and pervert all equity. 10 They build up Zion with blood, and Jerusalem with iniquity. 11 Her heads judge for reward, and her priests teach for hire, and her prophets divine for money, yet will they lean upon the Lord, and say, Is not the Lord among us? No evil can come upon us. 12 Therefore shall Zion for your sake be ploughed like a field, and Jerusalem shall become heaps of ruins, and the mountain of the house like the high places of the forest. Chapter 4 Promise of the Coming Kingdom 1 But in the last days it shall come to pass, that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established on the top of the mountains, and it shall be exalted above the hills, and people shall flow unto it. 2 And many nations shall come, and say, Come, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, and to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for the law shall go forth out of Zion, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. 3 And he shall judge between many peoples, and rebuke strong nations afar off, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks, nation shall not lift up a sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. 4 But they shall sit every man under his vine and under his fig tree, and none shall make them afraid, for the mouth of the Lord of hosts has spoken it. 5 For all people will walk every one in the name of his God, and we will walk in the name of the Lord our God forever and ever. Promise of the Coming Captivities 6 In that day, says the Lord, will I assemble those that are lame, and I will gather those that are driven out, and those that I have afflicted, 7 And I will make them that are lame a remnant, and those that were cast far off a strong nation, and the Lord shall reign over them in Mount Zion from that time forth, even forever. 8 And you, O tower of the flock, the stronghold of the daughter of Zion, unto you shall it come, even the former dominion, the kingdom shall come to the daughter of Jerusalem. 9 Now why do you cry out aloud? Is there no king in you? Is your counsellor perished? For pangs have taken you as a woman in travail. 10 Be in pain, and labour to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail, for now shall you go forth out of the city, and you shall dwell in the field, and you shall go even to Babylon, there shall you be delivered, there the Lord shall redeem you from the hand of your enemies. 11 Now also many nations are gathered against you, that say, Let her be defiled, and let her I look upon Zion. 12 But they know not the thoughts of the Lord, neither understand they his counsel, for he shall gather them as the sheaves into the floor. 13 Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I will make your horn iron, and I will make your hoofs bronze, and you shall beat in pieces many people, and I will consecrate their gain unto the Lord, and their wealth unto the Lord of the whole earth. Chapter 5 Birth of the King in Bethlehem 1 Now gather yourself in troops, O daughter of troops, he has laid siege against us, they shall strike the judge of Israel with a rod upon the cheek. Birth of the Messiah 2 But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you be little among the thousands of Judah, 
Get out of here shall he come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. Rejection of the Messiah 3. Therefore will he give them up, until the time that she who travels has brought forth, then the remnant of his brethren shall return unto the children of Israel. Work of the Messiah 4. And he shall stand and feed in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall abide, for now shall he be great unto the ends of the earth. 5. And this one shall be the peace, when the Assyrian shall come into our land, and when he shall tread in our palaces, then shall we raise against him seven shepherds, and eight princely men. 6. And they shall waste the land of Assyria with the sword, and the land of Nimrod at its entrances, thus shall he deliver us from the Assyrian, when he comes into our land, and when he treads within our borders. 7. And the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people as a dew from the Lord, as the showers upon the grass, that tarries not for man, nor waits for the sons of men. 8. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion among the beasts of the forest, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep, which, if it passes through, both treads down, and tears in pieces, and none can deliver. 9. Your hand shall be lifted up over your adversaries, and all your enemies shall be cut off. 10. And it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord, that I will cut off your horses out of your midst, and I will destroy your chariots. 11. And I will cut off the cities of your land, and throw down all your strongholds. 12. And I will cut off sorceries out of your hand, and you shall have no more soothsayers. 13. Your graven images also will I cut off, and your sacred pillars out of your midst, and you shall no more worship the work of your hands. 14. And I will pluck up your idol poles out of your midst, so will I destroy your cities. 15. And I will execute vengeance in anger and fury upon the nations that have not obeyed. Chapter 6 God Pleads with Israel. 1. Hear you now what the Lord says Arise, contend before the mountains, and let the hills hear your voice. 2. Hear you, O mountains, the Lord's controversy, and your strong foundations of the earth. For the Lord has a controversy with his people, and he will contend with Israel. 3. O my people, what have I done unto you? And in what have I wearied you? Testify against me. 4. For I brought you up out of the land of Egypt, and redeemed you out of the house of bondage, and I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. 5. O my people, remember now what Balak king of Moab devised, and what Balaam the son of Beor answered him, from Shittim unto Gilgal, that you may know the righteousness of the Lord. Response of Micah 6. With what shall I come before the Lord, and bow myself before the High God? Shall I come before Him with burnt offerings, with calls a year old? 7. Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, or with ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? 8. He has showed you, O man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. 9. The Lord's voice cries unto the city, and wisdom shall see your name, hear the rod, and who has appointed it. God pleads with Israel. 10. Are there yet the treasures of wickedness in the house of the wicked, and the short measure that is abominable? 11. Shall I count those pure with the wicked balances, and with the bag of deceitful weights? 12. For her rich men are full of violence, and her inhabitants have spoken lies, and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. 13. Therefore also will I make you sick in striking you, in making you desolate because of your sins. 14. You shall eat, but not be satisfied, and hunger shall be in your midst, and you shall carry away, but shall not save, and that which you save will I give up to the sword. 15. You shall sow, but you shall not reap, you shall tread the olives, but you shall not anoint yourself with oil, and make sweet wine, but shall not drink wine. 16. For the statutes of Omri are kept, and all the works of the house of Ahab, and you walk in their counsels, that I should make you a desolation, and your inhabitants a hissing, therefore you shall bear the reproach of my people. Chapter 7 Response of Micah 1. Woe is me! For I am as when they have gathered the summer fruits, as the grape gleanings of the vintage, there is no cluster to eat, my soul desired the first ripe fruit. 2. The godly man has perished out of the earth, and there is none upright among men, they all lie in wait for blood, 
they hunt every man his brother with a net. 3. That they may do evil with both hands earnestly, the prince asks, and the judge asks for a bribe, and the great man, he utters his evil desire, so they weave it together. 4. The best of them is like a briar, the most upright is sharper than a thorn hedge, the day of your watchman and your punishment comes, now shall be their perplexity. 5. Trust not in a friend, put not confidence in a companion, keep the doors of your mouth from her that lies in your bosom. 6. For the son dishonors the father, the daughter rises up against her mother, the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, a man's enemies are the men of his own house. Promise of a Final Salvation 7. Therefore I will look unto the Lord, I will wait for the God of my salvation, my God will hear me. 8. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy, when I fall, I shall arise, when I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. 9. I will bear the indignation of the Lord, because I have sinned against him, until he pleads my cause, and executes justice for me, he will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. 10. Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her who said unto me, Where is the Lord your God? My eyes shall behold her, now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. 11. In the day that your walls are to be built, in that day shall your boundaries be far extended. 12. In that day also they shall come even to you from Assyria, and from the fortified cities, and from the fortress even to the river, and from sea to sea, and from mountain to mountain. 13. Nevertheless the land shall be desolate because of them that dwell in it, and for the fruit of their deeds. 14. Feed your people with your staff, the flock of your heritage, who dwell alone in the forest, in the midst of Carmel, let them feed in Bashan and Gilead, as in the days of old. 15. As in the days of your coming out of the land of Egypt will I show unto them marvellous things. 16. The nations shall see and be ashamed at all their might, they shall lay their hand upon their mouth, their ears shall be deaf. 17. They shall lick the dust like a serpent, they shall move out of their holes like worms of the earth, they shall be afraid of the Lord our God, and shall fear because of you. 18. Who is a God like unto you, who pardons iniquity, and passes by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He retains not his anger forever, because he delights in mercy. 19. He will turn again, he will have compassion upon us, he will subdue our iniquities, and you will cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. 20. You will show truth to Jacob, and mercy to Abraham, which you have sworn unto our fathers from the days of old.